the right to vote. We are streaming now. <laughs> okay. Do the other vote say something? Never mind. I've got that weird glitch where I can't see the um, like the text uh, lock at the side. Is there any quick fix for that, or do I need to reload? Uh, are you sure you will not click the little arrow expand? There could be a small arrow, uh, top right. Top right. Uh, like, middle right. Do, do you uh, see just a small um, like? Give me a screenshot of what you're uh, um, seeing. Technical issues. Um, Sorry about that. Well, I've got it full screen at the moment, so there's, there's not no icons at all. On the right side. Yeah, um, nothing. So in in top right hand corner, there's nothing. Uh, when well, it's full icons screen, are. yeah. I I think the icons I can see are actually from Edge. They're not part of Foundry, I don't oh, think. Right, okay. Try and make you, it not you know. not um, full screen and see whether that returns it for you. Full screen does many um, things in Edge. And it using Edge. That's just what they open as. Uh, uh, okay. that, that is actually worse than my political opinions. <laughs> I mean, I use Firefox for my browser, but uh, Edge is I just click Chrome on Foundry Links, it just opens, with as well, opens so there. Uh, right, I'm just going to refresh and see what that, happens. That's like Chrome, but worse. Twilight, you didn't see what I just posted, like on the. Uh, right no, left let's screen. have a look. Okay. Do you know, no, I don't have that to click on. I, I don't have that. <laughs> Hopefully this will be quicker than the first login, which was uh, a, a little while. This 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 one always seems to be kind of painful, doesn't it? You can go ahead and uh, okay. previously on Mummy's Mask if you like, for yeah, okay, right, okay. Well, let's ma let's make a start then. So last session, as we continued our exploration of the uh, whatever it is, uh, what's it called? The Guardian Vault. Uh, you awoke a unusual combatant in the in the, well, that was the previous session, and you managed to defeat her in the last session. Uh, she, uh, unawares of the uh, teleportation trap, was uh, dimension doored herself into the uh, uh, the uh, the jail cell, which would have been interesting if uh, you hadn't have been in there. Um, a few rounds before, but uh, yeah, you worked it out relatively quickly, and uh, you were able to uh, disarm her and get her in um, bound up. And you sealed the door up, I think, leaving a small gap uh, in the door. But uh, that was as much. You went into the scarab room where you were able to solve the puzzle without too much. Heartache, um, discovering some uh, gulls in there, great gulls. Uh, they did indeed steal uh, Katawe's chips. Um, and you find yourself at um, the double door that leads to the south. You've already popped the scarab against it and it has displayed a delightful um, handle that you can open and uh, yeah I shall unpause the game I shall hit the right scene in uh, OBS and uh, cool. maybe we can uh, enjoy some Pathfinder <coughs> okay. Has it loaded for Twilight yet? Not yet. Ah, uh, you can get the stream up as well, and you can see us all and listen to us all. That's an idea. I might. I might Ten do seconds that. behind. That'd be quite unnerving. Hello. I uh, might as well put some delay just in case someone tries to stream hack us. Stream hackers. Okay. Mm, yes, I think that is our biggest concern right now. Yeah. I don't know who's going to stream hackers. I mean, nobody <laughs> watches us. So. 
Yeah, th there was someone one one day that absolutely wasn't me on my Twitch account that was saying that Shamir was nice. So. Yeah, I just um, I just think that was somebody who was trolling. To be honest. Yeah, you should have banned that one. Oh uh, well, yeah. Maybe. Uh, okay. Oh, is he back? He's back again. Is he back? Me? <coughs> Either of you. Well, I've not loaded in. <laughs> He's still in, in the loading screen. Yeah. Just... What I hate is the clip, the pop-up that says, do you want to wait? Like, I mean, I am waiting already. <laughs> I, I have to click something to say, yes, I'm going to wait. I have to wait. I don't have a choice really in it. It's a long time to load. Yeah, for some reason, this one always seems to. Mm. Oh god, he's opened the door. Um, okay. Right, okay. Close. You kind of look down the stairs, or up the stairs, in fact, because I put them that way around. Um, the walls of this circular chamber are coated with white plaster. There is a life-size statue of an imposing pharaoh. His stern face deep in contemplation. His hands cradling what appears to be an entire city. And it stands at the southern end of this room. A single mm. occupant stands in front of this statue. And she, uh, she looks at the three of you that she can see. And uh, she rests this huge um, falchion, uh, rests the tip of it on the floor and says, uh, hmm, welcome guests. I have been waiting for your arrival. Oh, well, yeah, finally someone nice. Oh god, it's one of those, I have foreseen this. Hey, kind are you working for the Sky Pharaoh or not? Indeed I do. I have been bound oh. to this place. I am here to guard until my contract runs out. You and... are the inevitable grave robbers that have come to steal. Uh, no. We are we are not really grave robbers. Like we have this permit from the Pharaoh of Osirian that tells us we can do this. And we are not stealing. We are repositioning. And uh, and also we are actually trying to bring Pharaoh himself back. So we are not technically stealing anything. You know, we are actually helping. Kind of. That's a bluff, right? That's no, it's not a bluff. It's not stealing if you give it to a museum at some point. <laughs> it becomes <laughs> diplomacy if they tell you to give it to the... No, that's <laughs> just being British. So repositioning. Having a note from your mum to say that you can come here means squat at the end of the day well to be fair if we take it like that being a feral 10,000 years ago means kind of squat to this day as well since you know everything you ever had and everybody you had with you is kind of gone and nobody cares about you anymore but hey I think you'll find the opposite is true you but a dream 
a figment of someone's imagination, and in a blink of the eye, you will be gone. The people we've met so far didn't exactly call us dreams, more like nightmares, but sure. Same ballpark, still, I guess. You and your fragile bodies will not last very long. Whereas my kind have a tendency to last. Oh, yes, no, I, I, I agree with you, they last longer until they meet us. You're probably gonna last like less than 10 rounds, so. <laughs> less than 10 rounds, we're speaking rounds now. Well, whatever. It will be an honorable death. Either way, won't it? Why are people so obsessed with honorable deaths? Like, nobody tries to avoid death anymore. Everybody wants it's to as if around. they could just die and not be an undead and they would already have everything they wanted. Yeah, it just seems pointless for some reason. It's fine. It's oh, well. fine. Ah, I don't know, fun lady thing, whatever you are. Um, by the way, what is it? And by what I mean, what knowledge do you want me to roll? I have binding, so probably an outsider. Well, I mean, not necessarily. But... Oh, what? I've not done your hand. Which hand did you want? Oh, uh, the... Both. I, I didn't want one specifically, but. Apparently, people wanted the rude one, so... The rude one. You know me, I'm a people pleaser. That's the one, right, okay. That's the French one. Yeah. You are a person pleaser. Copy it. Oh, for the love of God, that's not... thing. You should be burned like the witch you are. <coughs> Holy shit. Um, into the... just a second. Foundry, data, worlds, mask. Uh, tokens. Token 11. Close. Did you do a thing for your whatnot? No, but like just a generic token, it doesn't have any significant stats or anything. Birdie McBird Bird. Fishy McFish Fish, Sneaky, Talky McFish, Thieve. Ugh, you've got your generic token. <sighs> hand, eh? Uh, Muck, hand, hand. Create a new actor. Configure ownership. Server. Click save. Click on that. Go to that. World's mask. <coughs> Tokens. Oh. Is it that one? Is it 11? Nope. The wrong one. <laughs> Absolutely the wrong one. Oh, that's, um, that's, mustache. that's Mr. Mustachio. Mustache. What's this one then? Oh. Right, okay, just a second. Into there, into there, that. It's called the same something else. Because why wouldn't it be? Mustachioed. That, 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 that. Yeah, perfect. That, um. that, that. Right, okay. <coughs> uh, well, there we go. I don't... Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Right. Uh, we'll um, see how we get on with this then, shall we? Have you added yourselves into the initiative order? They are not easy. Why is my game like this? Uh, right. Can someone roll initiative for me? I'm still waiting. Uh, I have to uh, stop and start again. Done. Done. And done. Okay, let's hmm. get some fight music going. Yeah, I think we'll have a war machine today. Volume on here. Allegedly, that's playing. It is. Cool beans. Uh, right. <sighs> we begin combat. The a creature has a first initiative. And um, pa -pa -pa -pa. Uh, tactics say to use this. <coughs> oh, you've uh, read the oh, the art of war by Shanti or whatever his name is, Sansu. Sun Tzu. Uh, well, yeah. yes. You see, Sun Tzu, he knew a thing about fighting. Because he invented <laughs> it. And then he perfected it. And then he used all of his fight money to buy two of every animal. And he herded them onto a boat. And then he beat the crap out of all of them. <laughs> what, yes, what, 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 what just happened? <laughs> I don't know, but it's complicated. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what he did in the movie. That's, that's quite true, yeah. And that's why whenever there's a bunch of animals together, it's called a zoo. <laughs> he was the first zoologist. Yeah. Sun Tzu. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, the, the art of war is, is terribly interesting. It's really fascinating. The first opening thing, he went, to the, he went to the emperor and he says, I can train your army to be way better than it is now. And the, the emperor laughed at him. Uh, so what he did was he said, um, if you will give me 100 of your concubines and two days and I'm able to do whatever I need to do in order to make them train, I will have them marching better than your soldiers in two days. And the emperor said, I don't believe you, but fine. So on the first day when he he went out and he got all these uh, concubines lined up and uh, basically um, he, he set them marching and, and parading around the, the courtyard and they were laughing and having fun so he got one, the first one who was uh, a very uh, brash and uh, excitable doing a lot of laughing and spurring on all of the other ones and uh, he executed her on the spot and the rest of the 99, by the end of day two, were marching better than all of the soldiers in the Emperor's army. It was <laughs> incredible. But anyway. I can, al I can already see the meme with the Sansa thing. <laughs> Easiest money of my life. I said that shit. <laughs> uh, right, okay. Just give me a second to uh, to head over to the YouTubes and... You actually know. Do it yourself, uh, Van. <laughs> Meet the soldier, TF2. Okay. Meet the soldier. Meet the soldier, TF2. Just watch it and listen carefully. It's, it must be. It must be 15 year old. Something like that. That video. Uh, I think it's my 20. I'm fairly sure I saw it long ago, but I forgot about it. It's been a while. He knows a thing about fighting, because <coughs> he. Invented it and he perfected it. If he's so good at fighting, why is he dead? <laughs> Old age? 
Game was a little bit for about that's, fighting that's... the Yudu file. Yeah. He's talking to heads, isn't he? <sighs> yes, he is. Yes, he is. Anyway, back to this combat. The creature goes first. She springs forward at lightning speed. Oh, I don't have to get closer. How nice. How brave of her <laughs> to actually come closer. <laughs> Maybe she's going to do something really annoying and turn into a swarm. No, she will lash out with her falchion towards uh, Egon. Yeah, okay. get out. No, actually, yeah, I can't use it. <clears throat> with a... A 28 to hit. Yeah, that's a hit. Oh, 20% chance. Let's hope that it's a failure. Low, uh, low is good for me. Low is good for you? Yeah. Come on. Bottom 20%. 27. Damn it. It doesn't even show for me, only. Uh, okay. So that's a falchion? That's a falchion. Yeah. How much damage? 44 points of damage, 5 of which is electricity. Good. Before she continues her move, springing back out of the way. Oh, okay. That will take us to Jack. All right. Uh, I'll reach. And I'll get myself... Long arm. And I'll pounce her. Uh, where's my rage? Here it is. All right. I'm going to give her the honorable death that she wants. I'm going to burn two destined strikes. <coughs> and one raging brutality. To give myself bonus to hit and some to damage if I hit. Okay. Why is it? Fuck this. I don't wanna... I'll take some damage, I guess. Alright! Let's see. Okay, so, plus... 7 to hit. And plus 10 to damage. Yeah, Does 28 hit? No. You could, have, uh, you could have added that in there, as you, you know... Hard math, I didn't, I just figured it out. Sorry. So it's, uh... Right, okay, so your 16 plus 8 is not going to hit. Your 21 plus 8 is not going to hit. Your uh, first attack, however, will hit. And it's plus 9. It's plus 9. Yeah. So it's 30 to hit. Yeah, it won't hit. That misses? Yes. Okay. Then it's a casual 41 and 40 something to comfort. Okay. So that's uh... a lot of damage. Yes. Oh, oh, has he logged in? Yes, Looks amazingly. Like but uh, with limited functionality. Okay, well, that's my turn. That does take us to Katawe. Um, God. Wait. Five, ten, fifteen, 
Uh, Born. Yes, sir. It's 32 to hit. Okay. Does that, that still miss? It does indeed. Okay. Uh, add plus 4 to damage as well on the first one. So that's... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I've done that. 83. Yeah. 83? You said it was plus something. Yes. Right, okay. An additional 4. An additional 4 to damage and 10. So... 43. Right, okay. So, uh, 83, yeah. That's fine. Uh, but but I job hugging her too much. Uh, what? She is uh, she is directly above uh, your character. Oh, sorry, above. Okay. No, she's flying. Who's flying? The chick that wants to die in glorious battle. Can you not see her? Oh right. Oh yes. I I only just saw it move, and I, the ten foot appeared. It wasn't there a second ago. Right. Okay. Um. In that case. I probably don't want to go quite there because I can't hit it. So you um, move, I'll move there. You, you, actually and... need, you actually need to be like here. What for? Because she's 10 feet in the air, so you can't hit her. Like, If you're that far, you're too far. Oh no, so it doesn't matter where I am. Uh, we will move there and I will. Alright, oh, you're not using a long spear here. Never mind. Oh, um. I mean, it's still too far. Oh, no, that's that's my turn. That's fine. I'll, I'll stay there. Yeah. I think you may have incurred an attack of opportunity when you move through this square. Uh, sure. Okay. From um, this person? I, I only well, see this from, one. Or from here. Jack, so. Uh, okay, yeah, Jack can take it if he wants. Yes, from the. Uh, Okay. The creature. I think that's right. And obviously, uh, Mc McKay, Macat, whatever. Macat. Okay. Who Mac incurred what? What? An attack opportunity when he moved through the square. Oh, he did. Okay, yeah. Okay, on Kutami? Uh, well, technically on both of you. Combat reach. She has a 15 foot over. reach? She's 10 foot in the air. Yeah, so that's a. Least ten feet reach. Right. Okay. Well, it would just be on the cat then. I'm just okay. Just trying to get so, around this. Which is fine. He's got a better AC than me, I think. Slightly. Okay. No, he miss. Uh, the uh, the creature misses. Okay. Hopefully, that's my natural one for the evening. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Okay, Egon and Cousin It. And who? Cousin uh, It. <laughs> Cousin It. Cousin It, the hairy thing. The hairy thing. Okay, um, I dislike what this thing did, so I'm gonna ask it to stop. Uh, with etheric shards, uh, which are gonna be. So it's a lot of cubes. Uh, basically, it's everything above, uh, 10 feet and above. I think I should have enough. I guess it's one, two, three. Yeah. So that's nine. Uh, everything that. So it's not on ground level. It's like ten feet above. Okay. So basically, she has to stay on the floor, or she she's in it. Right. Uh, okay. And so then... put, your, put your template. Put your template on it and set it to ten feet. So we know you can where that is. You can set oh. a template to it? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, I, got the I, wrong don't tool. I don't see such an option. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's a square. Can you do a square? I can do a square like that. But uh, I don't see a way to like make it uh, up. Alright, okay. Basically, it's the entire room uh, at 10 feet and above, so, yeah. Alright, okay, you got a move action remaining? Uh, I'm gonna pull, I think we have like potions or stuff, I'm gonna pull something like that from the bag and 
my hand is actually gonna up oh, my hand. Can move 30 feet for free. To I'll have it go no nope. here. No, it's not gonna it's gonna trigger. Fuck it. Uh, no nothing else. I'm gonna pull something from the bag. Not sure what yet. And that's my turn. Alright. Show me. Um swift action inspire courage. Uh, standard action, I don't have any placing of fervors left. Uh, uh, is it worth if I do that on Jack? Do what? Uh, do you want a plus 5 only weapon? Sure. Okay. Then I. It's one of the spells you can cast and then move and release. So. Yeah. Oh, it's so hard. And then the of turn. Okay. Takes us down to her. <coughs> she will use her spring attack ability, drop down to the ground. That's so she's moving the for the... Yes, yeah. she's moving through the etheric shards. She's coming down? She is. Oh, I using, hit her. Using her spring attack ability. Yeah, she doesn't trigger from you. Spring attack doesn't provoke? Doesn't provoke. Spring attack doesn't provoke, no. She lashes out towards... The pastry chef uh, with a 44 against Van's AC. Sure, hit. Uh, she's not provoking from the target of the attack, but others can eat. I don't think Which anyone else no has reach. Yeah. It's no one. Mm -hmm. Hamage, damage. That will be 30 points of damage. And she moves. Back out of the way. That is that. Moving that. She needs to do one of those, which is that. Okay. I don't care about that anymore. Or that. D did she save her? Probably did, but. She did. Damn. Oh well. At least she's on the ground now. She is. Worth it. Uh, okay, that will take us to Jack. Alright. Uh, I five foot step. Wait, let me check first. I think it's five foot step. Yeah. And uh, I'll hit her. Uh, did you fuck with my shit again? Yes, I'm you did. I'm fixing it right now because your thing can't work this way. It's right. this much, and it's a plus five, and that's it. And it's Holy. Yeah, yeah. Holy doesn't add uh, to attack holds, right? Uh, it's 2d6 damage and bypass DR are good. Yeah, okay, so it's just that. But it's plus five anyway, so... Yeah, 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 but that means... Yeah, I mean, I guess we can do the Okay, try the Holy Sword now, it should be working correctly. I 
think it works correctly, right? Yeah, looks like it. All right. Uh, raging brutality, murder the thing. Oh. Did you add in your extra? I did that, uh, everything. You did? Yes. Right, okay. Uh, okay, that was that. The 34 hit. Do that. Sorry? That's 34 hit. It does indeed. Hey. Have some XP. Oh, uh, why? What zero? You what? like to you? You promised me bonus XP, bro. Why do you always give me zero XP? Wow! I'll dismiss the Eric shards and pull back the wand, I guess. Uh, I don't really know why they keep talking down like that to us and just vanish. But well, they are what what you they call probably them. Probably didn't expect the 134 points of damage in a single crit. You know? I mean, that's pretty much what what we've been doing since like 10 levels. But no, that's what Jack has been doing for a while. <laughs> I mean, what can I say? I've been working in the mountains, lifting trees to get stronger. What do you want? I did my training arc. It's like it's like the how many times are we gonna have to teach you this lesson, old man? Um. She was wielding a uh, falchion, right? That's correct. Cool. Yeah. Did she have any religious symbols or items on her to indicate what she might follow? What Assyria, Assyrian, Assyrian um, gods? No, she has obviously the uh, the falchion. She has a ring, uh, and she has a pectoral necklace. That is uh, made from gems and gold. There's no holy symbol of any variety. Mm. Okay. Um, uh, what I'm hearing is you want a spellcraft check? No, he does not want. <laughs> okay. What about the other one? It's a it's a ring of freedom of movement. Is the uh, the ring? And. Uh, the falchion is a plus one conductive falchion. I think that doesn't help with anyone. And a large, I suppose. Sorry? I suppose it's a large one. That's correct, yeah. Yeah. And the necklace is nothing exciting. It's just worth 10,000 gold pieces. You have a weird definition of nothing exciting. Well, it's not magical. True. So you find yourself in this circular room. There is a statue at the bottom uh, of the pharaoh, or oh, sorry, an imposing pharaoh with a stern face deep in contemplation, his hands cradling what appeared to be an entire city. Yeah, good enough. Uh, okay, what I'm hearing is... Where's my percept? Seriously? Okay! Do I see anything with 32? <laughs> Joke. You don't particularly see much with your natural one. Stop poking your eye out. Come on, concentrate. If you want to roll me a knowledge history, you're more than welcome to. I think I have that somewhere. <coughs> Your perception check, you don't really see anything in this room. There doesn't appear to be any hidden uh, exits or entrances. Nothing uh, exciting like that. History. Yeah. Your knowledge history role, you would be able to identify this as a representation of Hakatep the First. 
the city that he holds in his hands, however, you notice represents a Shori city. Hmm. I don't know how much research you did into the uh, Shori cities um, while you were in all 52 libraries that we went through. Uh, but this one much. looks like the miniature version of the Shori city of Cho. K-H-O. Cho. Cho. I think the person most interested in Shori cities is a thousand miles away now. Maybe. Just take a snapshot with it with your Polaroid camera and send it. Yep. <laughs> Put it on Instagram. Back in the good old days with Polaroid cameras, huh? You can still buy them. Okay. That's weird. Why would I be protecting this thing? Uh, detect magic? Is there anything magical about this uh, statue? Or, uh... Doesn't appear oh, to why be. Do I think this? Oh, then I'm interested. Sorry? That you, doesn't you, you appear to be. Oh, it doesn't, okay. Hmm. Did we miss a room? I don't know, did you? I don't know, do we have a really good engineer or something? Like, maybe try to figure out... Uh, I'm, I'm checking on the map, like we explored all of this, all of that, this was a dead end. That was another reason of sort, this one as well. This was a bunch of tombs. I mean, we're supposed to find... What's the name of this thing? Why is my phone on noisy? It's not mm. usually on noisy. There should be something called the Pharaoh's key in this place. Okay. Uh, and this was vi like this room there was a captive in. This one was also made to keep people in. We Come checked on. all of these places. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, it has to be in this one. There's no way. There's just no way it's not in this one. Um, I'm gonna take a second look at this, like, city thing, whatever. Like, what? Uh, the. Weird. The statue. Uh, specifically the city, you know? Um, okay. and I'm starting to think that it's too weird in this place. You come up to this statue and you observe. It's quite large, is this statue. Probably towering about maybe 15, 16 feet tall. And hands in it. Uh, you can obviously see this elaborate model of a small shory city and as you kind of look at this and move around it you you notice something about this scale model several grooves cut into the city streets Maybe oh, oops. Okay. this might allow for the model's buildings to slide out of the way.
Um, okay. I imagine it's like one of those puzzles where you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then a blank space. But they're all muddled up. Pretty much all ones. Pretty much no. Yeah. I don't yeah. Feel my pain! Yeah. yeah. What is it, that one meme? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a f definitely minutes at this point to try and try and try again. Okay, at this point I'm taking 10. Okay. <laughs> so the first time you try it, no. The second time you try it, no. And it explodes <laughs> in your face. Uh, the third time you try it, you think you might have it this time. There's a satisfying no. click as you uh, realize that you have unlocked this puzzle box of sorts. It also could be smashed open, but, you know, doing so destroys all of the contents that are inside. Okay, I'm glad I went for this smart way then. <laughs> There's a few items in here. There is a scroll of greater planar binding. Does that include the material cost? Uh, the material cost for the spell itself, not for the bribery part. Oh, so that's trash, right? Well, okay. Yeah, Shamir. Screws no, it just... up and burns it on the spot there. <laughs> Scrub that from the uh, loot sheet. There are two glass vials. It looks like some kind of oil inside. I will take a spellcraft check. Tonight the dice ate me. I'm not. I'm not toying with that. You believe that these are oil of life that may have been prepared some time ago oh, it's a philosopher's stone from thing. a philosopher's okay. stone. There's no sign of the stone here, but the oil is present in these two vials. The third item is the Pharaoh's key. I have a description of that somewhere, allegedly. Allegedly? Allegedly. Uh, the Pharaoh's Key is this strange looking device. It's possibly... Uh, I mean, there's elements of Osiriani design in here, but there's also elements of other designs as well. Shorey markings cover certain parts of this. It is about a foot in diameter. It looks like a football, but it's um, it's completely... Um, it's like a cage with a large gem on the inside, and uh, it's held in place by all of these metal rods that connect to this structure around the outside. It's kind of cool. So yeah, you okay. have the Pharaoh's key. Do you know what you need to do it now? We have to go on the central plaza and use it to activate the thing and call the... We did the activation there, we did this there. And the... Yeah, I think we're good then. Okay. We did the Tecramenet thing, that was the uh, life on term <laughs> thingy. Then we activated the thing in order. And then we just have to do the sun disk. Okay. Think we have it all? Okay. So the, the question is do we do that right now? Uh. I would like you to finish my weapon before we go. Don't know how many days you have left on crafting it. Uh, You're gonna stay in here for a number of days? Maybe not in here 
precisely because I have something else in mind, which is that um, the last time I activated the uh, one of the small statuettes, uh, the one with where is it? No, not the Texaco, there's something else entirely. Uh, yeah, there was one with a shaitan on it, and we were I was able to talk with the... Defnager? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm thinking we probably, like, he's still lurking in the area, last time he sort of hurt a bit. I'd rather we don't do that again. So I'm thinking we probably like deal with him before activating this mess. I guess. I mean, I, what I'm thinking is like, I, I don't know if when we activated the, like assuming everything works fine, you know, and there's not like a, a hidden trap or a, something, the thing's too old, so it works weirdly for a moment. I don't know. With going to activate the thing, I don't know if the pyramid will arrive in one minute or in a few weeks, a month. Yeah. Um, if it arrives in a minute, if it arrives, I'd rather not have uh, the Titan get on our back when we have the pyramid in front of us and probably attacking us. That's just my ID behind this. Okay. Yeah, are you guys all fine in terms of like negative level drain? That's also something that we need to deal with. I have two. Yeah, at the moment. I'm fine, I think. No, I do have two. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we had some from a few time ago. Okay, yeah. Uh, I think we probably should rest. So... Yes, that's my idea as well. If I remember correctly, um, the life lantern stays on its pod for some time. Don't remember how long. Uh, yeah, but we need the life lantern to stay there, or it's not going to work. Does it do something else in resurrection? Uh, I think it does something. Yeah. It those light and some additional stuff on top. Yeah, I don't think it really matters. Mm -hmm. It's unlikely to uh, perform a resurrection again. It's what, once per month? Once yeah. per year, but uh, I, I oh, yeah. don't think it has like a power to help you here. Right. What, what the fuck is the name of the item? Right. That's really Yeah, in the air of light, uh, it's only some bonuses to resurrections, effectively, so, meh. Yeah. Yeah, not really important. It's but, a, yeah. Yeah, I'm not saying we need to uh, take it after we brought the pyramid back, but I'm thinking, like, we... I don't remember, but I seem to recall that only stays on for some duration, and then we have to reactivate it yeah, when we're just... on over. I'm just checking to, uh, to uh, see. I, I don't a quite week. remember. It's a week. Okay. It's yeah. a week. So yeah, whatever yeah. you do, it's gonna be it's gonna be fine. Yeah, we can take a week off, I guess. Like uh, a week off. I, I'm not saying off as in completely off, but like a week uh, where we can at least a few days to uh, deal with our negative levels, deal with um, uh, day one. Running. Yeah, that's on the next Egon day. Egon yeah. makes some socks while Shamir no, I'm, potters I'm around the garden. Socks. I'm not making socks. Nothing untowards things, happens yeah. apart from this huge giant rock that you've got to destroy at some point. What? Oh yeah, the rock that's making the sun storm. That's true. 
What do you guys think? We wrestle day, deal on with our negative levels uh, tomorrow, and then hand the rock. Possibly also. Like. Because there's still a stun storm outside, and if the Sun Plaza is like above the trench level, we won't be able to see shit. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Uh, can you check how many days there are left on the Sintel? Because you started cutting it, but I had no updates on it. Uh... I'll do that in a second, yeah. Do we want to lose that much time? It's not that much time. Like, we, 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 we need a day to take the the negative levels out anyway. Like we need. So if day. we take a day and then another long rest, we, we're going to wake up to a cutscene where <laughs> Hakotep destroys Assyria and then the rest of the world. <laughs> GG. We can't really do that without the mass that we have in our position. So That's true, I guess. if we, if that happens, we'll just load the previous save. It's fine. Like like the worst thing you can do is send some more minions after us. Like I don't well, think. Well, no. The word the worst thing that he can do is probably send the rest of the pyramids that he's got the flying pyramids, which yeah, that, we already know of... about. Yeah, but that's kind of what we want him to do. You want him to do send we? them over to Sophos, to Wati, uh, to Tefu. No, not really. To yeah. be fair, if he, does, if he does that, if he does that to only find what, four people, he's a disappointment to his line, to his bloodline. So it is what it is. In the in the end, we still win. <laughs> yeah, but, it, yeah, but he's, he's not out to de to purposefully come and destroy you. The the other pyramid that came to Wati was sent to collect you. The other I pyramids mean, yeah. he could just send wherever the hell he wants because he's yeah, but... taking back, or his aim is to take back Osirian and restore his rule. True, but here's the thing. When he sent one big-ass pyramid to hunt four people, he technically kind of started fishing with dynamite. Now, if he sends all of them, he is literally fishing with nukes. So, it's up to him, in the end, I guess. I mean, even then, every time he sacrifices a pyramid, we kind of win, like, yeah. It's... I don't care either way you guys choose, but I still want at least one day to get rid of the negative levels. Same. But one, one day. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we have that much on it right now. Um, changing the subject slightly, out, outside, is there any statue of, of Sobek? I mean, I was looking for one, but we found statues of almost all the other gods. <laughs> if I fly up, can I see a statue of Sobek anywhere else in the complex? No, you can't. Because there's a, stun st a sandstorm out there because of the rock. But there is one uh, from what... Uh, what's his name? There is... The list of uh, things includes Sobek, doesn't it? Yeah. There, there should be one, but we can't see it right now because of the sandstorm. Oris, uh, Osiris, Oris, Isis, Toth, Kepri, Ta, Mat, Sekhmet, Ra, Sobek, and Set. Okay, I don't remember bumping into the Sobek one. No, kind of no, fluffed we, we, over we it. You've not, you've not found technically that one yet from your exploration. You know roughly where it is because you went to the, what was oh, it? Hold on. The monument yeah, was vault. Uh, yeah, something like that. So you, you at the um, at the monument vault, obviously you found the diagram that shows you roughly where everything is. The, uh, the map, um, so you kind of know where all of these things are, but you you do need do you need to discover them, do you? Ah, do you need to discover them? And activate them. Um, I think so. I think it was only at the control panel, effectively, like with the mm. wand of. Uh, the I don't think I really need to. To go there and do anything. 
Each of the sacred spheres radiates strong evocation and conju conju conjuration magic. While studying the monuments, uh, blah, blah, blah. focus on powerful, blah, 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 blah. details on each and symbols, purpose below. Okay, so you can activate all of those, which I think you did do from when you were at the monument. We did. Vault. So you, because you plugged the battery in, you've then used the um, the main control panel to activate all of the uh, the power relays, and uh, you've now got the ignition key that you just need to do something with uh, with regards to the sun disk. Let's uh, untalk, I suppose. After resting. Yeah, I think so. After negative levels. Uh, right, okay. So, you, you resting in here or are you going to find somewhere else? Um, there's possibly more spectres in the walls. I can make more spectres in the walls if you want. <laughs> uh, thank you How very much. How many spectres much. did you fight, by the way? Like five? At least five, yeah. Felt like 500. <laughs> it felt like six to me. Okay, off you go then. So if you're not if you're not going to hide in here because of the uh, the extra spectres that might turn up, um, you have to go and find somewhere outside to be able to set yourselves up. Do you guys have uh, access to things like magnificent mansion or? I think I have rope trick somewhere which is close. Yeah, I do. Rope trick is not close. I was just going to say that's nowhere near as close as uh, Major's Magnificent Mansion. No, it does the job of like we're out of there for a while, but yeah. it's not and even Magnificent or Major's the same as the Taj Mahal. Yeah. When you cast, uh, when this spell is cast upon a piece of rope from five to thirty feet, one end of the rope rises into the air until the whole rope hangs perpendicular to the ground, as if affixed. If the upper end. It is in fact fastened in an extra dimensional space that is outside the usual multiverse of extra dimensional spaces. Well, that's convenient. Creatures yeah, in that space are hidden beyond the reach of spells, divinations, unless those spells work across planes. The spell holds as many as eight creatures of any size. So that means you can put like eight tasks in them? Yeah, we can be eight in there and rest, so we can definitely take a few hours. Right now, this thing would last 14 hours, so that's... I can cast <coughs> it twice if we need to take 20, actually 24 hours. I wonder if your bag of holding would work within the extra dimensional space. I don't think it would, would it? No. Probably not. Yeah. Right. Okay. Head out, and uh, yeah, you've got to get through the uh, the um, the glorious uh, trap passageways with those uh, dispel magic things. Yeah, we're going to do that uh, probably in the life lantern location. Probably the safest. The life lantern. Um, is that that one? No, is that that one? Oh god, yeah. Alright, uh, that's a long way away. 
like a proper long way away. Well, what you're telling me is you want us to Dimension Door there, probably teleport. I think it's probably further than Dimension Door will take you, won't it? There's a chance, yeah, on the Dimension Door side. Oh, it's too... oh man. Party marker, I can't even... Yeah, let's do it. Okay, no, no, no. Uh, two thousand feet. Two thousand feet to get you that. You, Twilight's really having issues today. Yep. I'm, I just right. closed it so I can try again. I might need to... <coughs> Switch off and start again. This is ridiculous. Mm. Do you have another browser installed that you can try? Uh, yeah, oh, maybe. Driven. Try that. If it's long duration. I'm not saying that edge is likely to be the problem. Um, it is likely to be the problem. I'm running edge on uh, on my computer and it's been solid as a rock. But then again, it is connecting to itself, so that <laughs> probably allows for the speed to be good. Edge is a decent browser; it's just everybody hates it for for no reason whatsoever. Uh, I mean, it's it's literally worse. Whoa! Yeah. I'm not gonna get into a technical argument with anybody because I don't <laughs> care. Uh, part of your energy drain negative level, Ujimi, what's it? Uh, don't we have to make a save for the... Yeah, uh, it was your that. specters, so check what the DC was on their stat. It should be like half their uh, 10 plus half a dice plus their charisma, I think. Spectres. I think it's charisma. Uh, charisma modifier, usually, yeah. <sighs> so, what was it? 10 plus... Half their hit dice plus their charisma. Modifier, obviously. think you're going to have massive issues with this then. Uh, okay, roll them. You roll for each one? That's a good question. You roll for each one, I have two of these. Okay. Uh, Give me some rolls. Uh, I'm going to burn... Yeah, no, I'm not going to burn anything. Fuck it. Okay, I hope that saves. Okay. Okay. Yep, you're all good. Good to know. Was it DC? I'm not telling you. <laughs> Roll it. Why yes. do you. I thought we are closer than that, Vaughn. Why do you have so many secrets lately? <laughs> I, keep, I, keep, I play my cards <laughs> close to my chest. One is automatic fail on saves? Yeah, 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 it is. Okay, so I have oh, one. I just well, loved it, yeah, I still need uh, yeah, you, you, one, uh, yeah, you save one, one touch you of whatever one, I am. So, yeah, you've, uh, you've gained yourself one permanent negative level. Yay. Uh, With that 1,000 gold, right? Sorry? Again? How much does that cost me, 1,000 gold? Uh, Dragon Blood for the first one. Oh, yeah. okay. There you go. Oh, I've got level drain too. Teleport. You've got level drain. Um, two. Tarway has two. How much does that cost to get rid of? Uh, two fortitude saves. 
or oh, yeah. 150 gold was it for Dragon Blood? 180, I think. Let's see. We need like we lost that 60 each. 60, not 50. It's not like it matters, but yeah, yeah that's fine. I'll note it down. Uh, where are you going to get Dragon's Blood in the middle of the uh, slave trenches of Hakata? We, we bought some prefer, prefer beforehand. Sorry? We have, we, we have some be, uh, like... How much do I have? Uh, blood, 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 blood. Uh, yeah, I have bought nine doses on myself uh, and I only use six, so we still have three and it needs three to do that, so... And I'm the only one that failed one, because yeah. natural one, so... Well, yeah. I'm marking it at, as used. Enjoy a bath. So is there Yay. one for me? You failed one? As well? You don't need one. You're all good. I don't need one? We're we'll trying to just disappear then? I mean, you saved. Nice. That was the point. I rolled the natural one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's to stop it becoming permanent. <coughs> right. That's the only reason you yep. need it to work. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, we've rested? I think the idea was that you were going to go outside and rest. So. Uh, yeah. It was. Uh... Okay. We're hiding in our trick. If you're not full life uh, already, you can just, like. I, I am now. Um... Yeah, you can just, like. Assume that I, I still have like my care is five disease of that, so that's cool like two hundred and fifty health so ish. But we're not going anywhere, so okay. Yeah. Just need to figure out what spells use uh great magic weapon. Uh Start adventuring. So you make your way out, you shut your eyes to get through the the part of the uh, the complex that rips your eyes out. <laughs> Egon tip tap tapways all the way through the uh, the mist as you conger your way through and, uh, and get out without detonating any more this is um thing above all magic spell things. Yeah, we we, we I, I disabled them if I remember. Maybe I'm confused in something else. No, I didn't. Di no, I just took them blindly. Yeah, that was the thing. And you set up your rope trick. It creates a uninteresting space for you to sit in as you uh, enjoy your trail rations that you've placed in your pockets before climbing into the uh, interdimensional space extra planar space whatever space it is and uh, yeah you chill out for eight hours or, or a day what are you going to go for uh, effectively a day like we kind of have to uh, because the negative levels only fall off after effectively 24 hours. Yep. Okay, so day two. Day two. Don't this up. Oh, yeah, it's, it's fine. 
Okay. Uh, I'm still loading. <laughs> Am I the only one? Uh, no, I'm at uh, 98%. <coughs> I'm still loading. Oh. I'm still loading. <clears throat> this is one battle that I can never win, like, Jesus. <laughs> the loading screen always kicks my ass. Let me uh, let me fix uh, the uh, Return of the Rune Lords uh, Discord for you, Loka, so that the uh, everyone doesn't uh, interrupt your whatever you're doing. Kick. <laughs> I shall not use everyone again, for fear of upsetting you further. I mean, it's not that you have a return player's uh, role already set up. Is there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, to be honest, I forgot you were in there. To be honest, it. Uh, it is not a big deal. Yeah, I forgot too. I have the servers on like things only, so I only open it when I'm pinged. And that was okay, being free. Okay, what are you doing? Boss. Boss. Uh, I'm thinking we should go to the... What are they? Um We should find the statue of my god. We'll be safe there. Yeah. Uh, so in the land of plans, which actually have a chance to work, uh, I'm thinking we mm -hmm. go to the. We go back to the life lantern location, and where there is the option, like to put one of the statuettes, we're gonna put the statuette of the ro of the rock in there. Uh, hopefully, it works like the. Oh, this one was that burnt as well. Uh, hopefully it works like the other one and we know... Um, we know where it is. Like the Shaitan, I, I knew where it was, so... Well, no, that's not entirely correct. Oh? Uh, Wasn't it? Uh, sorry, let me just find it. If I'm correctly, we could speak uh, telepathically and. So when you put the the figure of Tefnaju, the Shaitan, um, you had a telepathic link is established mm -hmm. between the character who placed the figure in there and. Tefnaju. Each knows the other's condition via the status spell oh, and the location yeah, as if it. by the discern location spell. Yeah, I was fairly sure you said something like that. Yeah, sorry, I forgot. That's fine. Yeah, so you would know his status and you would know his location. So do we try for the to, to bait it out? Worst case scenario, we know exactly where it is, so we can just like go after it. Yeah, I mean usually a giant bird. If you uh, if you just go under it and freaking flap your arms, it will it will eventually notice and attack you. No, I'm not talking about the bird. I'm talking about the oh. the shaitan at this point. Like he already uh... tried to hit me in the back and he actually did yeah uh, we, uh, we are gonna go there and tell him hey we know where you are we are coming for you and then we come for him and we find him and we kill him because he's a naughty guy <coughs> I, can variable. I can just like prepare like five dismissal and just dismiss him and be done with it that's an option, I suppose. Come back. But I, I never I never managed to eat a spell that has a safe component, so I don't really think it's gonna work, but no, maybe today will, will be a first. Actually kill him. Oh 
what level is this Mitsara? There. You're very talkative tonight, you guys. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to break your concentration. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. So you've uh, you've rested a day. Uh, you've got your negative levels sorted out, and you want to go back to the lantern vault. You're gonna have to use the power of the token to get yourselves back up there. That was. Over here, wasn't it? Uh, it is effectively over here. You can't see where I'm peeing because it is literally 800 miles away. 2,000 feet. Two miles. This is going to take ages. Oh, you get all the way there and it wouldn't do it. No, it won't. Well, this at least work, yeah. I don't know why. <sighs> uh, maybe I'll... Uh... Okay. So do we want to go find the, the Shaitan? <coughs> Which uh, I think the Shaitan is at least a controlled viable. Like w we know it doesn't like us. It's most likely gonna try to get to our, uh, into our back. And it's a fucking coward. I guess. Why doesn't it like you, uh, Hone? Uh, because instead of uh, helping us uh, complete his contract, wait a second. Because he fucking volunteered to do a job and now he wants to get paid, so... No, 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 okay, okay, let's completely forget that. We can literally send him back by just calling the pyramid. Yeah... So, okay, uh, by cutting the pyramid that ends his contract, he fucks off back to his place. Yeah. And then he finds a mage that sends him back so he can get his money and he has access again. Well, that's something else entirely. Um, uh, so, the life and term place, I think it was this one, if I remember correctly. He wasn't happy with you because you actually stole all his stuff when he asked you not to. Uh, that's not his stuff. That stuff he is supposed to get if he completes his mission, and his mission is trash and he should have never accepted it. So does that mean that's okay for somebody to steal it? Uh, that, that, that's not stealing because it doesn't even belong to him in the first place. Like He, he never did his job, so it wasn't like, his yeah. stuff to begin with. 
Like I'm, it's I'm it's his job that. when he completes his mission, and his mission is well not gonna be completed, so it's not his stuff. It's like if someone tells you they are giving you their house when they die, and you die before them, so you don't get their house. What? How how is it like that? That's what. Like, if... What your your argument there is that if I go into the baker's at the end of my road and say I'm going to take all of your bread because it doesn't belong to you, what? that's okay. No. no. Right. <laughs> you went in and he said that stuff has been promised as a reward if I do my job, which is to protect the slave trenches until the pyramid returns to earth that stuff has been promised don't touch it it's not yours to take and you took it and then you lied about it and his sense motive check was better and he saw the truth uh, I, I'm chaotic neutral I am a I am bound to no low. That's that's the <laughs> bound to no low. <laughs> no hard problem. I'm not sure that's I don't think it's that. an alignment matter. It's like you made a deal with the evil pharaoh. Uh, you don't expect me to respect the deal you yeah, made with yeah, the evil pharaoh. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Was he evil when he made the deal? Uh, I don't really care. He's evil now, so this. Stuff doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, your sense of morality is is, is bending. Quite I, I mean, I mean, the the, the has been trying the the the, the, the has been trying to kill us for like the past two years out of character. So, yeah, I don't really. I'm going to respect anything he did at any point. I think uh, I, I think Shamir is probably heading towards being uh, a slight alignment change. I think. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, we've long suspected that. <laughs> okay, so we go there, and we're gonna put. I guess the rock. Like we, we put the rock and we go for the rock. Might as well. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Uh, what happens when I put the figurine of the rock in there? Oh, I don't know. Somewhere or other. Uh, let me scroll back to that location in the book. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. <coughs> Uh, you no longer have the Spinosaurus uh, thing. Yeah, as I suspected. You no longer have the figurine that depicts the Earth elemental. As I suspected as well. Uh, the arcane rock. This one uh, glows red. Uh, Always a good I think sign. that it's likely to have a negative effect on the creature. Because the uh, the one, um, what figurines do you have left? Actually, you don't have uh, one for the uh, you don't have the architect one. No, we we barely have any left. Uh, we have the Shaitan one left and this one. Oh no, we have another one, legless, clotted, clocked figure. Sorry. We have no idea what kind of creature this is. So, eh. Right. Okay. Uh, okay, yep. Yeah. So when you put it on, the uh, the figurine glows red. You believe that it will have a negative effect on the creature. So you've activated the um, the lantern vault. You've gone to the monument vault and you've done your stuff there. Uh, you've gone and collected the Pharaoh's key from the Guardian Vault 
and you've gone back to the lantern vault and plugged in the action figure for the giant bird where are you going to go now? My question is where is the bird now? You don't know Anyone's a, Anyone has a trick for that? Mm. I, uh, I probably have some sort of locate creature on my spell list that I would have prepared I guess Uh, is that even a generic yeah, spell? It sure is. I, I think it's an Inquisitor, so if it's an Inquisitor thing, it should be Cleric. Uh, um, sorcerer, Wizard, Summoner, Unchain, Summoner, Witch. So... No, yeah, no, it's not a Cleric spell, so... It is not a Cleric spell. The spell functions like a locate object, except the spell locates a known creature. You slowly turn and sense when you are facing the direction of a creature. You need fur of a bloodhound, apparently. Yeah, but that's in yes. your component pouch. Because oh, it's coming in his list. The spell can lock a a So I cannot do that. Specific creature known to uh, yeah, so I don't think I have any. Uh, I don't think there are any useful cleric spell for that. Okay, let's switch to the. Oh, locate creature won't work because you haven't seen the creature close up, at least once. Okay. I, I have a dumb idea, um, and at this point, I would tell the party guys. Uh, we have seen a rock up close already, so another hey, one. There was one at the ship in the desert at your door. That was dead. Oh, that was further than 30 feet away. Mm -hmm. My idea is really dumb, guys. Uh, let's just yeah. ask the Shaitan. Sure. That kind of makes sense. I mean, I can literally keep pestering him day and night by, like, mentally singing stuff to him. Um, until he gets bored of me and finally answers. I have confess. Uh, is that something that you must do with the guy is in a range or anything like that? Um, no, it's close range, but I could cast it on him if he was unwilling to tell us. Yeah, but he's not with you, is he? Do no, you but we can't we... need to be there. No, but, we'll no, but we'll have look at creatures, yeah. so we'll be able to know where he is. So that you way we can the find target him. Target creature, a single question on the subject's next action. Close range, he needs to be within 25 feet. Yeah, that's fine. Plus we can go on... per level. Yeah, that's, that's fine. We can literally go and find him. The thing will give us look at creature, so. Also, that means he won't be able to, like, uh, get. Uh, Think upon us? Sneak up, yeah, sneak up on us. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's find him and have him have him tell us where it is. Yeah. Yeah, sounds I good. Well. Okay. Okay. You take the um, the bird figurine off of the pedestal, yeah. and you place the figurine for the the shaitan on there. Uh, yeah, okay. Hey, it's us again. Would you like to tell us where the bird is, like, the rock is, like, nesting or anything like that? Uh, you don't get an answer. Don't pretend you don't hear me. I know you do. And I can be really annoying. You still don't get an answer. And you don't I get an answer mean, for some time. If I cast... I, I know where he is physically with the locate creature effect, right? Uh, you would... Uh, yeah, you, you would know that he is... off towards the eastern side of the, uh, the trenches. Eastern side of the trenches? Uh, sorry, western side of the trenches. Western side, okay. 
Uh, well, I guess... Uh, I mean, Locate Creature will tell me the exact location, effectively, if I remember correctly. Uh, it's the direction. Uh, no, no, no. The direction lake locate, uh, of course, it's Lake Locate object. So you know the direction, and the, you don't you don't have the range though. You just know the general direction of it. And if it's within range, which is long, 400 foot plus 40 foot per level. Oh. So you have like a com quest compass in Skyrim, basically. Yeah, you, you, you aren't going to clue where. You don't know where he is. 400 plus 40 foot level. No, but we know the you direction, we just don't know the exact... Uh, if it's within range. Seriously? Yeah. You sense so the direction something... of a well-known or clearly visualized object. You search for general items in case look at the nearest object kind more than within ra uh, more than one within range. Attempting to find a certain item requires specific and accurate mental image. Blah 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 blah. You cannot specify a unique item unless you observe blah blah blah. The spell is blocked by even a thin sheet of lead. Okay. Yeah. You you you've no idea. This this place is way too vast. Okay, so okay. so basically this thing is kind of useless. Like, it's probably not as useless as it is, but we can like explore a bit around and effectively search for it. Uh, do we not right, check this place or uh, like I don't know, just do until we actually find where it is. Uh, you know, just walk around the place. Eventually, it's ever gonna answer. And I, I, I'm gonna keep like sing, uh, singing some dumb stuff to it. Eventually, he's gonna get bored. All right, and because we have like shitty vision, we don't know where it is. I mean, to be fair, I stayed in the sense for like a thousand years or so, and he didn't get bored, so. Yeah, but right now he has someone like singing stupid shit. Uh... Baby shark. Constantly, yeah, that's definitely an option. Although I'm not doing, yeah, I'm not inflicting version. that on, especially on not on the GM. Can we? Okay. Yes, I'm gonna keep exploring the place. Until we get a detection of where that guy is. As well. Okay. You make your way along these um, passageways, and mm -hmm. um, explore quite a lot of these sort of uh, little um, areas around here. You don't find any more doors or anything like that that you can't uh, can see as you uh, explore this bottom uh, lower section. Um, I'm checking the map. Oh. Does it go that way? Oh, nice. Okay, I guess there's no options there. Where does that go? Oh no, 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 please. Oh my god, no, not like this. What? What's the matter? I'm gonna take a wild guess. It's very rude. Uh, 
I hate the fact that I'm right. Um, of course, there's a snake park in the labyrinth. <laughs> the fuck? Is there at least yeah, something no. at the end of this? Oh my god. Is there no. something at Look the end of this? Look at this. There were doors. Like, please tell Let's me there's just... something. But it... <laughs> Let's just be grateful there weren't doors. This long, winding trench comes to an end at a sheer wall of amber. You feel a steady descent as you uh, move down this stupidly long trench, um, and you you, you you believe that you're probably at the depths of about 60 feet. The wall of amber that marks its end towering above the ground. Its face of this amber wall is inscribed with hundreds of complex, often overlapping hieroglyphs. These symbols slowly change and adjust and reform on their own, as if carved and erased and recarved by invisible hands. That's weird already. And uh, does the text has any kind of visible meaning? Uh, what would that be? Linguistics, maybe? It's not particularly words. It's more calculations. Roll me knowledge history. <sighs> something, ab something about this, really. These style of the carvings, the numberings on the wall of this amber that towers above you. It's it's ancient, but it doesn't look to be as ancient as the slave trenches themselves. I think it's probably about a thousand years younger than the slave trenches. Probably a, a, res a, a period known to Assyrianologists, Assyrian, Assyrian, Assyrianologists, no, Assyrianologists. <sighs> Egypt people. Yes, it's educated people as <laughs> the age of the Black Sphinx. There is as you uh, look at this thing, a curious set of hieroglyphs at the bottom. Eleven hieroglyphs. Will me a knowledge arcana or a knowledge nature? Okay. Get out of here with these rookie numbers, Shamir. Um, <laughs> you believe, I mean, Shamir would know this as well. Um, these 11 hieroglyphs represent the 11 planets in the Galarian's solar system. And they are rotating in a orbital fashion. Uh, 
That's cool. Yeah. It's both cool and a bit curious as well. Like, what is the point of this? Hmm. What did you get on your history? 28. 28. I think you may have heard of these, maybe, far off lands, there seems to be these strange doors or clocks that appear to be counting down to something. You're not entirely sure what this could be, but maybe it has something to do with these planetary hieroglyphs. So it's a countdown to some astronomical event, I guess. Um, how complicated would it be to, like, time-wise, how complicated would it be to understand the value of the countdown, I guess? Like, how long there is before whatever that thing is happens? Um, it's hard to say. Let me just scroll down to the bottom of the page uh, to actually see if there's anything else listed about this. <coughs> Reminds me of um, Crystal Rock, that place in um, Frisia, the Winespin Mountains. Anybody Please. know what I'm talking about? Uh, no. I'm not sure so I know. Unfortunately, I've provided you with all of the information with regards to the Amber Chronograph. Um, it might be something we want to return to. Yeah, even try. I'm gonna. I think. Don't I have a spell like for this? Uh. I might not. I, th I think I did. I, I don't want to burn a retrocognition on this. It's. Continue. It's a third level spell. It's sort of important to Wait, me right now. Um. Uh, okay. Oh wait, no, no. I'm going to cast Continual Flame on it. That way, we if it's dark, we'll be able to find it quite easily. Uh, right, okay. In the bottom of this... A permanent, a permanent flame. Okay. In Equivalent in brightness to a torch. So that will be there forever. Okay, I guess. Uh, and then we can just like come back later. And so the, the, there's nothing else about this place. That's the weirdest thing I've heard today. Uh, well, snake back, I guess. There was one in what's it, wasn't there? Shattered Star. Was that something different? The Doomsday Door? Yeah, it sort of reminded me of it as well, yeah. but then the Doomsday Door were just like... Um, it will open when it will open, and you have no idea, like no way to know when uh, that will happen. Yeah. This is a similar sort of thing. Right, what time are we on? Do you know what? Why don't we stop the session here um, next session obviously you're going to probably be heading over to the the sun disk 
to activate that. So um, that's going to be complicated. Not really. I think. I, isn't the isn't the sun disk uh, on the high ground? I guess. It is. Yes. Yeah, so we can't do that before we've dealt with the bird. The rock, sorry. It's the one doing the storm, right? That's what That's correct. The, yeah. I think uh, Straiton said. Mm -hmm. So we sort of have to find where it is. Clean it up and... Okay. Well, I will... Uh, I'll get it's all that ready for next week. And then um, okay. it's going to be a, a fun session. Um, and we're going to explore really the... Uh, looks like you're going to be exploring the remainder of the... Slave trenches of Hakitep for some time. <laughs> well, we're going to be here forever. Oh my god, just so much Jesus <laughs> mess. We actually get out of here, Hakitep would have taken over the whole world. <laughs> Oh For those of you who are God, watching at home, this is exciting, riveting stuff as they explore the slave trenches of Hyperdome. Definitely. Hyperdam. What's this now? Oh my blocks. Oh my God. Yeah, it goes on and on what the for hell? a long time away. Have you not got that original image? Have you not saved it? Uh, no. Did you, you sent not, it? Did you not save it originally? You said you snip, snipped it and you knew where you were going. Uh, yeah, but I don't save my snips, like, I don't, like, just, you know, yeah, right, I okay. don't say, stay forever. Yeah. Also, it was on my previous computer, so that didn't help. Oh my god. As you go around, you, you can see, obviously, uh, on the top of the wall here, there are hundreds of these obelisks. Each of them radiate magic. A I mean, yeah, we we've loaded them with uh, the place uh, that I don't recall its yeah. name, which was when you were uh, in the uh, uh, what the monument vault, you you would be able to see all of them, and they all glow with magic. Um, and fun fact: each one has an elemental bound inside it of uh, various types and various. Uh, it's a bit rude. Various um, sizes. So. That is a bit rude. Oh. That's probably going to be very annoying to free all of them at some point. <sighs> it might take you a, a week or two to do that. Right. Well, well first we sort of need to. God, what the fuck is this labyrinth? Yes, it is a labyrinth. Oh, I wish. I'll tell you what I'll do is I will uh, make it all visible for you for next week. Thank you very much. And then you can wander <laughs> round to your heart's content. I mean, I'm just uh, hoping that trouble. there's something else at this point. Like, this was what I'm going to call a wet fart. So oh, wait. Uh, what, what do you mean? Um, we haven't got a name on this one. Is that so, Beck? Uh, oh, sorry. Hang on. Let me see. So back is number ten. No, that's not it. That's number seven. Oh. Uh, that one is Matt. Which one, sir? Uh, the one you just passed. Uh, this one here. in the middle of here. Not that my thing is ping anymore. I, yeah. I don't see your pings. Although the map is gigantic, so yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. here, yeah. here. Yeah. Matt. Uh, okay, well, let's uh, le le let's let's give up with this madness, and then uh, we can uh, pick this up again next week, and I will uh, make it the whole thing visible for you. Where are you going? Madness. <laughs> 
anywhere no. I can see a, a thing like. Is <laughs> little I'm, thing better than fast about it? I, I'm, I'm sending my mind eye everywhere, <laughs> so it checks out absolutely everything. Yeah. While times. I'm like getting some sleep, I guess. Okay. So, my unity damage. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's do that. <laughs> let's, uh, no! let's do that, and we'll uh, we'll stop the stream here, and uh, we'll pick this up again yeah. next week.